We are pleased and honored to welcome Dr. Arya Warshall. He is the recipient of the 2013 Nobel Prize in Chemistry. He's also the recipient of the 2014 Biophysics Founders Award. Thank you so much for joining us. Again, this is really our pleasure and honor. Thank you very much. Now, you are also speaking at the awards uh, presentation symposium. You are one busy man. Talk to us about how it feels to be getting such an honor for both awards. Okay, uh, we have to divide it to two. We start with the Nobel Prize. It's uh, the ultimate award in science. It's uh, extremely excited when, exciting when you get the phone call. Uh, it makes your life much easier. I mean, you upgrade to business or first class all the time. So it's really great. However, I must mention that this 2014 Founders Award one of the nicest things about it is that I receive it before the Nobel Prize. Uh, it's not a big deal now to get awards, but so this, this is nice. Now you were given that you just received the most prestigious award in science that one really can receive. What are your thoughts right now on the current state of funding research and really what kind of an impact are you seeing? Okay, so it's a question that one is asked everywhere. Uh, obviously, there is less support for science now than, let's say, 20 years ago. It is a global phenomenon. I was in Israel, they have the same type of questions. Uh, maybe in China the situation is different. So it will have impact on science uh, unless one watch it very carefully. There are limited resources, so this is a problem from one side. Uh, it's important to keep young people going, especially people tend to get discouraged after not getting grants several times and might decide to leave science. So this is perhaps the most dangerous uh, aspect of limited budget. So are those also some of the consequences if this trend continues down the line? They could be some of the consequences. So it's important to keep support for young people and uh, also to hope that people who fail three times in uh, NIH grants will try the fourth time. Uh, it's some... not allowed. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Is there something that people aren't saying about the lack of research funding? Uh, I think people are saying a lot. Uh, one of the dilemmas is how to divide the limited resources. And there are schools who say that uh, less emphasis should be put on the big science and at least one should try to keep curiosity driven research as much as possible. Now you've had a very long and rich and very validated career as a scientist. What advice would you have for those starting, those early young scientists? Or what advice okay. would you have given yourself maybe 20, 30 years ago? Okay, unfortunately none of the advice I gave anybody ever worked <laughs> but uh, in a <laughs> hindsight, uh, if you are not uh, interested in fighting for your science, uh, you should probably leave science. Uh, it's very tough business and you have to be driven. And also not to pay too much attention to negative referee reports, uh, they are always uh, unjustified. So to keep with what you believe in. This is my best advice. Well put. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Warshaw. Again, it's been such an honor to be with you. Thank you very much.